The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Tuesday, September 20, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 360 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. New York Mets vs Milwaukee Brewers. Whether it is Hauser or someone else, or a bullpen day, this is not a good pitching matchup for the Brewers. Carrasco has been lights out in his last three starts, going 2-1 with an ERA of 1.84. This is his first start against the Brewers this season, but he has been successful throughout his career, with a record of 2-1 and an ERA of 3.12. The Mets have a lot to play for still, as they try to hold off the surging Braves. The Brewers have a lot to play for too, but they just don't have the horses, especially on the mound. Take the Mets here. Our team pick is. Mets for the win. The total has finished under in 5 of the last 6 games that New York has played in Milwaukee, as well as in 9 of the last 12 games overall between New York and Milwaukee. Milwaukee has had the total finish under in 9 of its last 13 when playing against a right-handed starting pitcher. The Mets have had the total finish under in 4 of the last 5 when playing against a team with a winning record. Our total pick is. Under 8 runs. Los Angeles Angels vs Texas Rangers. The Angels will have Patrick Sandoval on the hill. Sandoval was stellar in his previous start, limiting the Guardians to only two runs in 5.1 innings, resulting in a no decision in a clash the Angels lost. The veteran left-hander has been dominant, conceding two or fewer runs in eight consecutive starts, and has filed a 2.99 ERA and a 1.35 whip, accompanied by a 5-9 record in 132.1 innings pitched. Sandoval held Texas to only two runs in 5.2 innings in the lone meeting this season and is 0-2 with a 3.33 ERA and 24.1 career innings against the foes. The Rangers will have Cole Reagan start this game. Reagans was shelled in his latest outing, squandering seven runs in four innings against the Athletics and was fortunate to escape with a no decision. The rookie left-hander has been hit or miss in his limited action, recording a 5.68 ERA and a 1.58 whip, accompanied by an 0-2 record in 25.1 innings. This marks his first career meeting against the Angels. Texas is having a disappointing season and continues to stumble late this season. They have yet to win a series this month as the pitching continues to be exploited. The Rangers lost two of three against the Rays last weekend and now return home where they are two to three in their last five games. The Angels are playing well and registered a home series win against a good Mariners team this past weekend, while Texas continues to stumble, remaining without a series win this month. The Rangers have been just as bad at home, losing seven out of their last 10 home games. Furthermore, Angels starter Patrick Sandoval has fared well against Texas, posting a 3.33 career ERA against the rivals. He has allowed two or fewer runs in each of his last eight starts. The Halos bats will get to Cole Reagans. The rookie just surrendered seven runs against the lowly Athletics last time out and has squandered 10 earned runs in his 14 innings pitched at home this season. Los Angeles Angels for the win. The Angels currently sit second last in the division. For a team with Trout and Atani, they have not been good on offense. They may be the most disappointing team this MLB season. Mike Mayers is expected to start for the Angels. He went 3.1 innings and gave up 5 hits, 2 walks, 5 earned runs, and struck out 3 in a no decision against the Houston Astros in his last start. Texas will not be making the playoffs this season. They have been struggling mightily recently and have fallen to 4th in the division. Cole Reagans is expected to start for the Rangers. He went 4 innings, gave up 8 hits, 1 walk, 7 earned runs, and struck out 5 in a no decision in his last start against the Oakland Athletics. Both starting pitchers have not been good. Cole Reagans has a 5.68 ERA, 1.58 whip, and opposing batters are hitting .260 against him. He allowed seven earned runs in his last game. Mike Mayers has allowed five earned runs in two out of his last three starts. He pitched four times against the Rangers this season, going no more than two innings each time. In each of the last three times Mayers faced the Rangers, he allowed one earned run or more and a home run in two out of the last three games versus the Rangers. Despite not pitching for long, Texas has still been able to hit him well. 
Atlas Garcia is top 5 in the American League in RBIs. Both teams will be able to score, and the over will hit. Our total pick is over 8.5 runs. Minnesota Twins vs Kansas City Royals The Minnesota Twins are batting at .250, with 496 runs, 932 hits and 136 home runs. Batting leaders for the Twins are Byron Buxton with a .227 average with 49 RBIs and 27 home runs, and Jorge Polanco with a .245 BA with 54 RBIs and 14 home runs. The Twins are pitching 3.780 RA and a 1.23 whip and 707 strikeouts. Starting pitcher for the Twins will be Dylan Bundy with a 5.01 ERA, 1.30 whip, and 74 strikeouts, allowing 101 hits and 15 home runs. The Kansas City Royals are batting at .222, with 543 runs, 1129 hits and 119 home runs. Batting leader for the Royals are Bobby Witt Jr. with a .229 BA with 46 RBIs and 12 home runs. The Royals are pitching 4.89 ERA and a 1.40 whip and 1,007 strikeouts. Starting pitcher for the Royals will be Zach Greinke with a 4.25 ERA, 1.17 whip, and 63 strikeouts, allowing 64 hits through 65.2 innings pitched. The Twins looked promising to start the season, but an awful season half has left them at .500 and out of the playoff picture in the final weeks of the season. The team will turn to Dylan Bundy to start the game who is having a rough season on the mound, allowing 68 runs in 127 innings pitched. Moreover, with a .261 expected opponent batting average, a 16.2 strikeout percentage, and a 4.13 expected ERA, opponents are constantly making contact and putting together strong plate appearances against Bundy to easily drive in runs. The Royals are having an awful season and hope to avoid finishing the year in last place in the Central Division. Zach Greinke will start the game, and he is having a rough season on the mound, allowing 59 runs in 118.2 innings pitched. In addition, with a .285 expected opponent batting average, a 13.1 strikeout percentage, and a 4.96 expected ERA, opponents are making contact at will and putting together strong late appearances to drive in runs at will. Our team pick is Minnesota Twins minus 1.5 runs. While Bundy has struggled on the mound, the lineup has stepped up for the Twins, scoring 4.32 runs per game. Carlos Correa and Luis Arias have combined for 29 home runs and 431 total bases to add power to the heart of the lineup, but the rest of the batting order has also been great. While Bundy has struggled on the mound, the lineup has stepped up for the Twins, scoring 4.32 runs per game. Carlos Correa and Luis Arias have combined for 29 home runs and 431 total bases to add power to the heart of the lineup, but the rest of the batting order has also been great. This is going to be a great game between two teams eager to improve in the American League Central Division. The Royals are looking to win at home, but the Twins have been the better team all season and look to dominate this game both on the field and at the plate. The Twins should drive in runs at will against Zach Greinke and the rest of the Royals pitchers with Carlos Correa, Luis Arias, and the rest of the lineup making hard contact and powering the ball at will. The Royals lineup has struggled, but both lineups look to drive in runs at will in this game against two struggling starting pitchers. The Royals should constantly play base runners against Dylan Bundy, who has allowed nine runs in his last two starts, with Salvador Perez, Bobby Witt, and the rest of the lineup, making hard contact and powering the ball throughout the game. The Twins, who average 4.32 runs per game, should run up a score with Carlos Correa, Luis Arias, Gio Urshela, and the rest of the batting order, swinging for the fences and crushing pitches to play base runners at will. The over should cover in a high-scoring game controlled by both lineups. Our total pick is over 8.5 runs.